Having handled more electric toothbrushes than I can remember, I can't think of an electric toothbrush that hasn't vibrated in some way. All sonic oscillating, rotating and even ultrasonic toothbrushes emit some form of vibration from the handle that is felt in the hand and arm that holds the toothbrush. Some brushes emit a much more gentle and less intense vibration in the hand. Quip and Gleam brushes are two examples. Others including Philips Sonicare and Oral-B tend to create a much more noticeable vibration pattern in the hand. The pattern of vibration is generally pretty consistent, although there are exceptions which I will come on to shortly. The only brushes I can recall that have the option of no vibration at all are those ultrasonic toothbrushes, such as the Megasonics MAS when they are set to ultrasound only mode. Apart from the light on the handle, you wouldn't know if it was doing anything or not. Even with the ultrasonic models, you have to normally switch through modes with vibration, albeit quickly to get to the ultrasonic only mode. So, some vibration in the handle of an electric toothbrush is completely normal. If you have sensory issues that are triggered by the rapid vibration patterns these brushes create, you will need to consider tools such as handle adapters that can potentially help dampen but not necessarily stop the vibrations felt by the hand when holding the toothbrush. Some toothbrushes are programmed to create a much more obvious or different vibration patterns in the handle at certain times. One example is with Philips Sonicare toothbrushes. If the specific model has a pressure sensor, the handle will typically generate a rapidly fluctuating vibration pattern that is different to the underlying vibration that the sonic motor creates for the brushing motion. This rapid vibration pattern creates a different sound signature which the ear will pick up on but the hand should also detect the difference. Relieving the brushing force will stop this pattern of vibration. Philips brushes can also vibrate when the toothbrush isn't switched on. This is only in specific circumstances though. It won't randomly start vibrating in the middle of the night unless it is faulty. For example, when the handle is being placed on the charging stand, it will vibrate alongside some beeps and a flashing LED. <coughs> If the battery is low or flat at the end of a brushing cycle or when you attempt to turn the brush on, it may vibrate several times too. The same applies when putting a Sonicare in a charging travel case to replenish the battery. The vast majority of toothbrushes will pause the brush motor momentarily once, twice or three times quite rapidly as part of the timer and pacer built into the handle. This will change the feeling in the hand and the short pauses will be noticeable if paying attention as you brush. These are cues to move from one section of the mouth to another or that your brushing time is complete. Whilst there may well be other scenarios, the final one I will mention is if your brush has a scrubbing sensor built in. If the handle detects too much movement in the brush head, it may emit a different vibration or pattern again to alert you that you need to stop or reduce the vigorous movements in the hand to achieve the best clean. The exact reason for the vibration will depend on your specific brand and model of brush. It is worth considering what other behaviour your brush might be displaying at the time too. By all means leave as much information in the comments section of this video as possible and I will do my best to assist. But for a faster explanation I would encourage you to look at the instructions and troubleshooting tips for your specific model. You can also contact the toothbrush manufacturer for assistance.